What were your emotions when you first heard the news that the Supreme Court made this ruling? Um, well, I was on my way to the Capitol this morning for some meetings, and um, my wife, Barbara Mariani, who's prosecutor here in Little Rock, she called me on the phone and said the ruling had come out, and I, I, I was speechless at first, and she continued to say, this is big, this is big, and, um, you know, I've had so many emotions since the day that I was fired from my job in 2013. In 2015, with marriage becoming legal here in uh, Arkansas, and th then this one, I mean, it's, I don't want to say I'm surprised because things have been heading this way, but emotionally, it's such an important ruling, especially from someone who has been fired for their job for being um, a lesbian. It is, um, I mean, words, it's hard to find the words to describe it at this point. All right, let's jump into your story. You said a few years back you were fired. Tell us what was that call made as you were preparing for your wedding? What was the call you got and what did it have to do with you getting fired shortly after? Yeah, um, we, were, we, had, we were going to the Grand Canyon. We stopped in New Mexico to get married um, early one morning. Uh, we were married uh, with a couple of friends there, um, a judge and a witness. And we were walking back to the car and I got a phone call from the secretary at the uh, all girls private school where I worked and she asked me if I was in what was I going to get married while I was gone and I asked her why she was asking me that and she said because if you do you're going to be fired and I quickly got off the phone and then the rest of the day was spent in tears driving to the Grand Canyon um, and I also talked to one of the sisters of mercy from the school I talked to the principal that night but yes when I returned I, I was I was fired from my job fast forward now can you put into perspective the change in the range of emotion from today back when on your wedding day? Yes, absolutely. I, uh, what's, what's so exciting is that when that happened to me, um, I was told by a, a mentor here in Little Rock, a, a politician, Kathy Webb, that I could e we could either slink away in shame or we could do something about it. So we decided to get more involved, became involved politically in my community, in my church, in every way possible and what happened to me on that day in 2013 directly led to my election as a state representative um, in 2018 November of 2018 so um, these these changes I mean we're seeing a lot of changes right now in the United States uh, for the good a lot of changes involving civil rights and for this to happen uh, during Pride Month and for um, Supreme Court Justice Gorsuch to write the, uh, the majority opinion it's, I'm, I'm thrilled. I have chills. I'm almost in tears. Um, it's, it's just like Barbara said on the phone this morning. It is so big. All right. So I want to know your surprise when you heard who wrote this, uh, this decision from the Supreme Court in conservative justice, Neil Gorchus. Yeah, that was, I think that was one of the main things. Um, I, since, since I've heard, I've been able to go back and look at a little bit of it. And it's, it's amazing because that's, you know, you expect the, the usual suspects to, to come back with uh, how they feel, but you expect a lot of dissent from the more conservative justices. So with uh, Justice Gorsuch along with uh, Justice Roberts uh, also being a swing vote there, um, I want to say it couldn't mean any more, but it almost means more that when, when those guys are also recognizing uh, that this is a civil right and that um, we should be protected as all people should be protected. Um, it, it, is, uh, it makes it, I think, in some ways even more meaningful. Before you go, I do want to ask you one more thing, Representative McCullough. What, in your opinion, does our future hold based on this decision? Well, I hope, I hope that what will follow this is also protections for housing. I know many folks have been kicked out of their house also for being LGBTQ+, and I hope that that also follows, and I hope that soon, one of these days that we're not having these discussions, we're not having to fight these fights, I, I was told that the sky was going to fall when the marriage ruling came down, and obviously the sky didn't fall, people continued to live their lives as they will with this, we'll continue to live our lives just like everyone else has the opportunity to live their lives, so I'm hoping that maybe what follows is for housing and that we can kind of clear this up uh, for the future and that we're not having to fight these same fights. 
Arkansas Representative Tibby McCullough, thank you so much. Representative McCullough, we appreciate you taking the time here on Newsfeed Now. Thank you. Appreciate it.